Okay, moving to a more complicated scene. Uh, the, Colossus, the Colosseum scene. Uh, this one has about uh, 800,000 triangles. So it's uh, quite a heavy scene for uh, real-time ray tracing. And this is the result that you get in V-Ray, rendered in about uh, two minutes. It's calculated with Radiance Map uh, as primary GI engine and brute force GI. So, uh, exporting this now to uh, our GPU renderer. Uh, this one is going to take a while, so I will pause the recording until the export is finished. Uh, of course, uh, again, this is a prototype, this is not how we imagine the system working. It will be a part of VRART where the workflow, workflow will be much, much smoother. Okay, so we get uh, similar quality for just a fraction of, of the render time. And again we have uh, three samples per pixel, we have five global illumination bounces and we still manage to get about three frames per second. So I'm going to reduce the number of bounces uh, now to show you uh, how much of a speed up we can get from that. And unfortunately uh, the video capture does not really show you uh, the full frame rate for, for this. It's actually quite a bit smoother than, than what you see in the recording. Adding a few more bounces now as well. Okay, so now I've reduced the number of samples per pixel so that uh, we can get uh, somewhat faster refresh rates. Okay, so the graphics card for, for this demonstration is uh, GeForce 285. Uh, so it's not... Uh, it is a good graphics card, but, it, but it's not uh, a very expensive one. It's just a normal gaming card. Uh, and you see that we get quite a good performance out of that. Now here is uh, an interesting scene. Uh, it's a very, very old scene. It's been with V-Ray since the very beginning back when VRA was uh, was in, in beta in, uh, in 2001. So again this scene is rendered with VRA with the radiance map and brute force global illumination. Exporting this now and this is a GPU render and uh, it's you can see it is practically uh, the same as the normal VRA rendering, but of course much, much faster. This scene is modeled by Michael Watkins. Uh, he, has be, he has been a VRA user since, since the very beginning, since the first beta versions. So reducing the number of uh, samples per pixel now to get somewhat uh, smoother frame rates. And again this is rendered entirely on the GPU. There are practically no rendering calculations taking place on the CPU. And uh, 
again our uh, target goal is to have all of this running in uh, OpenCL. Thanks for your time.